more of a wine person? What are you having, Madam Vice President? I am having what she's having. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having what she said. <laughs> She's having a Bud Light. This ain't right. Kamala Harris sipping a Bud Light with the governor of Michigan while her whole campaign is falling apart. If you don't believe me, word on the street is, you know, Joe Biden has had enough. I mean, they, from what people believe and what he even believes, he thinks he got thrown under the bus. This morning, B conveyed to multiple advisors that the election was dead and bur buried and called K an, an innate sucker and too cr crudious from the start. Basically, dude, if you guys read this right here, somebody who works for Joe Biden, whenever they, Joe Biden's just pissed off. Whenever they refer to this stuff, okay, uh, like like he, he's just mad. Joe Biden's pissed off. That's why he's He's going to try to get us all to go at the juggler of each other. They're pushing a civil war. We need a damn revolution. You need to make a choice, okay? With you, you need to make a choice. Revolution or a civil war when the government comes knocking at your door and you're pushed onto the floor. You could have came together with your neighbor, but you wanted to get mad at each other for being programmed by the machine. What I'm saying is, guys, right now, the time is now. A choice between civil war or revolution, and we need a revolution. And Joe Biden's trying to push for a damn civil war because he's so pissed off because he feels like he got screwed, which he did. Anyway, Hollywood's coming out full force. Uh, this guy named Billy, this comedian, I mean, he's really upset. I mean, look at his meltdown on TikTok. I mean, Hollywood, <laughs> they're not going to be able to, to help her out, guys. I mean, she is slipping. She is slipping away. Slipping away in the polls, guys. This is the truth. This is as of right now on October 27th, Sunday, 64.8% to 35.4% on the polling market. Kamala Harris, you are going down. Uh, well, hmm. no wonder. She's used to going down. Hey, everyone. It's Billy. Um, I don't post videos like this often. Uh, but I will regret it if I don't. It's two weeks till the election. I'm getting a lot of texts and feeling a lot of people panicking. And then other people saying, no, 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 don't panic, don't panic. And I think those people are wrong. It is time to f okay? And not just panic, but to do something about it. Because uh, like many people are saying today, the polls are not good. I'm just going to be blunt. I don't work for the Kamala campaign. I'm just going to call it like I see it. The polls are not good. Trump has the momentum. The man's a fucking rapist who's been raping and sexually assaulting women his entire Hold on, hold on, bro. You don't get you don't get to just say this kind of stuff. This is this ain't good. You know, this this is that there these people are unhinged. This is ridiculous. This guy this is this is so inappropriate higher life he's a fucking nepo baby incompetent motherfucker who is mentally disintegrating in front of our eyes i was trying i was gonna try to mute this so maybe i can monetize it but who cares let's just get it out there listen to him and his voters don't seem to care so it's gonna be up to the rest of us fucking sane people to save this country save the economy save our most vulnerable citizens, working class people, women who don't have access to abortions, LGBTQ folks, a anyone with half a fucking brain, the education department, which he wants to completely eliminate. And I don't mean, you know, I don't care. People are gonna be like, Billy Eichner's yelling at us to vote, great. I don't, you can be annoyed at me, but that's not the point. Everyone has to get in the game here. We have two weeks. We can't let what happened with Hillary in 2016 happen again. This man is a fucking rapist. He it was convicted of it in a court of law earlier this year, but even if he wasn't. So people saying, oh, Donald and Kamala, I see uh, young people saying they're the same or I hate him, but I don't know if I can vote for her. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, please get involved. He is a danger to the physical safety of American citizens everywhere, not to mention our economy and to our own 
control over our personal freedoms, what we do with our bodies, what gets taught in schools. He is very, very dangerous and not in the cool fucking way that some of his fucking fanboys think he is. Okay. And I am, I can feel it. I was out talking to voters yesterday. I did not like the vibe. So please do what you can here. You have to vote, especially if you're in a swing state, but we have to do more than vote. We have to knock on doors. We have to make calls or talk to your friends, text your friends, make sure they're voting. Iwillvote.com, votesaveamerica.com, swingleft.org. Any of these places will help you help get out the vote or help you find out where to vote. Donald Trump in his first term managed to overturn Roe v. Wade and eliminate the right for women federally to have an abortion after 50 yeah, federally, but they leave it up to the states, bro. 50 years. Can you imagine what he is going to do in a second term when he's more confident, has less fucks to give, is more empowered, and honestly seems more organized? Project 2025, which is truly horrific in terms of its goals, is points to all of that. So please, do what you can, because we will live to regret it if we don't. We have two weeks. We will live to regret it if we don't. Even the people voting for him will live to regret it. And um, that's it. Thank you for listening. They're so having a meltdown, dude. They, they, they know their time's up. Thank goodness. Make sure you guys, you're watching the Off Topic Show. Hit the notification bell. Go to linktree slash off topic show and stay highly positive.com for all the latest merchandise. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.